today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup review of the Pony Effect makeup. Today I am wearing a full face of Pony Effect makeup. I'm going to walk you guys through how I achieved this look as well as give you a review on all the products that I picked up. Now first things first, I have to say one of the things that I noticed right off the bat with her makeup, the Pony Effect makeup, is that it's not the most budget friendly line. It's a little bit more expensive than your run of the mill Korean beauty products. So I was actually very curious about that to see, y'all know me, I like to see if I'm getting bang for my buck or if it's worth the money. In total, all of the products that I picked up were $370, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the products. I'm going to go one by one and talk about them, so let's get started. I think I'm just going to kind of work through the order that I would apply these onto my skin. So the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is the Pony Effect Strobing Luminizer. It's a thicker consistency than most I've tried. This one had a bit of like... I don't want to say glitter, but it had shimmer to it, so it was actually kind of hard to work with. For my dry skin, those little reflective pieces caught into every single dry or flaky bit of my skin. It is kind of shows a bit of textural issues that you might have, so not the most forgiving. Yeah, that's kind of my experience with the strobing luminizer. Now we have this eyebrow product that I picked up. This is the Pony Effect Shaping Sharping brow definer. The shade that I used was hashtag natural brown. I actually really like this. I felt like it was a perfect consistency for my eyebrows. Not too hard, not too soft, but I also felt like it was very pinpoint accurate for exactly where I wanted to apply and fill in parts of my eyebrows. I will say I do have my eyebrows microbladed. A lot of it has faded, so there are some patches and things like that that I like to just fill in. Having said that though, I don't have a ton of area to fill in, and this is a very narrow tip. Um, the product itself is a very skinny type of eyebrow product, so if you're trying to fill in your entire eyebrow, like you don't have much to work with, you're probably gonna burn through this very quickly because even myself, I've used this for a couple weeks now. I've probably used this like eight times and I feel like I've used like half the product. Moving on to these guys. These are the Pony Effect Unlimited Cream Shadows. These I really like and I really like these because she does a really good job in general of coming up with very unique colors that you don't see a lot of times when it comes to Korean beauty brands. And I really have to give that to her because I appreciate her stepping outside of the box. So having said that, I picked up these two because they are basically matte type of cream shadows. Both of these work excellently at covering the entire eye area, basing the, the eye area for your eyeshadow, as well as kind of giving you a smooth canvas to work with. So I love these, I think they're excellent, and I was super excited about them. These are also eyeshadow bases, but these are in the stick form. These are their, her Pony Effect Stay Put Eye Stick. These are very long lasting, and again, come in very unique colors. I was really excited about these because we have here hashtag Otherwise, which is kind of a bronze color, but it has a little bit of a lilac undertone to it, which is really nice and pretty. And then we also have here, hashtag untamed, and this one's really nice because it's a warm brown, but it has a blue reflux to it. So again, very unique, pretty colors, and I like that these are a little bit skinnier. They're easier to work with. For those of you guys who don't have a lot of eye area to work with, these will be excellent because you can really place the color exactly where you want it. Again, these are very long lasting and I, I love these. I think they're awesome. So next we're gonna talk about the eyeshadow palette that I picked up. I picked up two. I picked up the Matte Master as well as the Shimmer Master. I just wanted to see how her different formulations were. Out of the two, I definitely say I gravitate more towards the Matte Master palette. As you can see, she actually gives you a very nice range of colors. I will say the lighter colors, aka the ones on the outsides, are not the best light colored mattes that I've tried. You can see um, they're still not terrible, however the ones in the middle are beautiful. So I'm really impressed, I know matte eyeshadows tend to be a little bit more difficult to formulate. Whether or not you want to pick this up for yourself, you kind of have to decide if certain things are hits or misses for you about the information that I'm giving. Now let's go ahead and go over the Shimmer Master palette. Um, just to show you guys the colors very briefly here, they look like this. I have very mixed feelings about this because I feel like this is not a complete 
eyeshadow look. Like it's difficult for me with what I usually wear and what I usually like to create looks with this palette alone. And I just find these are not the most pigmented type of shimmer colors. I do wish that they were a bit more smooth and buttery. Like they're swatching really well when I just kind of use my fingers or they're swatching okay, these ones didn't do too well. But I really feel like they don't translate onto your eyes as they look in the palette. So I think I would skip on this one and I do like shimmery colors, so that's kind of a shame for me that I didn't really hit it off. But you know, like I said, I definitely recommend that matte one if you're looking for those types of colors. Next we have the Perfection Brush Liner. I picked up, of course, hashtag carbon black. And this pen liner was a very nice pen liner. I don't have much to say about this except the fact that it is long lasting. It's nice and accurate with the brush. I feel like I did have to kind of go back and like shake it to get some of the ink out. So, and I do store it like this to try and keep the ink down at the bottom. By the time I get to my second eye, it feels like I'm like trying to get the ink to go to the brush tip. I think overall it's a, it's a nice brush liner. So next we have the mascara. This is the Mega Curling Mascara. I'm not a big fan of this. Personally for me, I like mascaras that are very volumizing, that also separate the lashes so they don't get too clumpy, but this was hard to work with. I'm not a big fan of this applicator. It's a comb type of mascara wand, so there's also fibers in it. I just felt like it was a very meh type of look. I wasn't very blown away with how my lashes look. I probably won't use this anymore. I'll probably give it to a friend or a family to try. So I picked up a couple of her lashes because they looked beautiful. I was super excited to try these. I have on my eyes right now. If you can see them, they're gorgeous. They're easy to work with. I love that the band on some of these have an invisible band. Some of them have the black band, but they're very thin and they're very affordable. I was actually surprised at the price point of these because I felt like for these type of quality lashes, you're getting Pretty good bang for your buck. Moving on to this. Now this I was really excited for and this is her Color Correcting Master Palette. So this is basically a palette full of creams in different shades to color correct different issues on your face. So she's got peach undertones to help correct dark circles. She's got some greens in here to help with any redness you might have. She even has a moist balm in here which is cool for those of you guys who have dry skin like me. You can appreciate having a little something something to go over the dry patches that you tend to have to help mask those. I'm still kind of trying to figure them out so I don't want to say like a yay or nay definitively on this palette because personally for me I'm still trying to get the whole, you know, figure out how to use this. I, I like this. I think it's kind of fun to play with. Of course, I had to pick up one of her cushion foundations, and this is a Defense Longwear Cushion Foundation. I wear the shade Sand. I love this cushion foundation. I've been wearing it basically since I got this a couple weeks ago, and it is a very long-lasting, nice finish cushion foundation that I think is excellent. The, the tone of it fits my skin really well sometimes when it comes to Korean foundations. I have a really hard time finding cushions, foundations, BB creams, CC creams, whatever it is to fit my skin. There is a heavy fragrance to it, which I think is the one thing that I don't care for about this cushion foundation. I feel like even when it goes on my skin, I can still smell it. So if you're sensitive to that, just keep that in mind. Next we have her Pro Fit Liquid Concealer. This was excellent as well. I really like this concealer. I felt like it was very high coverage. It blended out really nicely. It didn't take forever for me to smooth it out on my skin. Covered up any imperfections I had. It's a pretty liquidy concealer as well. So for my dry skin, I don't find that it sits in my fine lines or anything too crazy. So for the powder to set everything on my skin, I used her Mattifying Blur Powder. This was a really nice powder. It's very finely milled. It comes in um, a packaging like this, so you can choose to use the puff, or if you're like me and you don't like to use a ton of powder, I usually just kind of tap my brush onto the puff and apply it wherever I need to. I don't really have much to say about this because I just find it's your typical powder. Again, for me, in my head, it's a pretty expensive powder. I feel like there are other more affordable loose powders out there in the market, so... Yeah, but I'm definitely going to continue to use this since I have it. I was really excited to try one of these. The shade that I have is in Hashtag Confidence and I really love, love, love these type of stick contouring type of products because 
skin. My dry skin, these just really work for my skin and I like how these type of products melt into the face. I love the color of this. I feel like, again, she did a really good job with her colors. It's not too warm, but it's also not too cool, so I feel like this would work for a lot of different skin tones. I definitely like this and would highly recommend this. I haven't tried any of the other blushes or highlighters of these, but yeah, I really like this one and I think it's excellent. Another palette that I picked up is this guy here and this is in hashtag fabulous. This is the one that has kind of the peach blush here, has some highlights and also a bronzer. Um, mine unfortunately got a little broken, the highlighter in transit. They're not the smoothest powders I've ever tried. I think there's definitely smoother products out there. As far as pigmentation goes, if that's your concern, these are definitely more of a wash, which I, again, can't understand and don't want to ding points off of because, like I said, with Korean Beauty, that tends to be more of the look. I don't think I would pick this up again if I was given the option. Uh, the highlighter is not that, like, frosty as I usually like my highlighters to be, and the blush down here I use, but you really have to kind of scrub your brush in there for me to get it to show up on my skin tone. Last but not least, the last product that I picked up is this contour lip color in hashtag entertainer. I like the concept of this because she makes the liner bit the lighter color, and then the part that goes on the inner palette, obviously it's a darker color, but you usually see them opposite in the States, or at least in Western makeup because obviously the darker color goes on the outside. So it's cool to see a gradient lip in this type of format. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review of Pony Effect Makeup. Overall, I just wanna say, I really, again, appreciate her creativity when it comes to her makeup. Again, the packaging of all of these are absolutely beautiful and very high quality packaging. And let me know if you guys have tried any of her makeup, if you have any opinions about the products that I showed in this video, like I always do in all my videos, I will put links down in the description box below of where I picked up the products in case you want to pick up some of these for yourself. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! You got the sparkle in your eyes, making all the other guys stop and stare at you.